Hi folks, Sam here. So today I want to take you through all of the major scales um, on the chromatic harmonica. And I'm going to show you them twice. The first time round, I'm going to go through it um, whole by whole, note by note, and I'm going to move chromatically, so C major, C sharp major, D major, E flat major, so on and so forth. And then I'm going to show you the scales, which is uh, by going through the circle of fifths, which is a good way to actually remember them and to practice, you know, adding sharps and adding flats. Um, and get a bit of music theory in your head. What I suggest you do is, after each time I show you the scale, um, I suggest you actually pause the video and go over it a few times so it gets stuck in your head a little bit. Um, today I'm not going to be focusing too much on rhythms or rhythm patterns, we'll do that in some later videos. Today it's more about getting what the actual scales are and using that as a sort of another warm-up routine, because every time I play I tend to do my chromatic scale, um, then I tend to go through my scales across the instrument, then I tend to go through my arpeggios just so I've got it locked in my head um, what I should actually be doing. Okay, so let's begin. <laughs> okay, so C major, um, really easy, slide out was going one blow, one draw, two blow, two draw, three blow, three draw. This is where you slide over because you now you're going four draw and then four blow. So pause it, practice it, and on to the next one. So on to the next one, uh, C sharp, exactly the same as C major, just now playing all the same with the slide in. So one draw, uh, one blow, one draw, two blow, two draw, Three blow, three draw. Uh, four draw, four blow. So D major. Uh, we're going to have the slide in because we have an F sharp and a C sharp. So we're going to slide in on the two draw and on the five blow. So we're going one draw, two blow. Three draw with a slide in, three blow, three draw, four draw, five blow with a slide in, and then five draw for the octave. Now we're going to E flat, so we're playing. Um, one um, one draw with the slide in. This has got three flats in. So we're going uh, one draw or slide in, then two um, draw for the F, or you could do blow for the F with the slide in. Depends how you like to play F. So two draw, three blow, three blow with the slide in, three draw with the slide in, uh, five blow, no slide. Five draw, no slide, and then five draw with the slide in. Great stuff. Okay, so on to E major. Uh, it's got four sharps in it, so we're going um, two blow, uh, two draw with the slide. Uh, three blow with the slide, three draw, no slide, four draw, no slide, five blow with the slide, five draw with the slide, and then uh, six blow with the uh, no slide. Now onto F, uh, one of my favourite keys. Um, we're going again. You've got the option. You could do two blow with the slide in, or two draw. I tend to do two draw. Um, so we're going two draw, no slide. Three blow, no slide. Three draw, no slide. Three draw with the slide for that B flat. Um, five blow. Five draw. 
uh, six blow. And then you can, again, same with the F, you can um, use the slide or not use the slide to get the F on the six. So all together that's. And now on to F sharp, which I always used to think was really tricky. The easy way that I remember it is that it's slide in on all the notes except for B on the four draw. So with that in mind, um, everything else is going to be slide in. So we're going two draw slide in, three blow slide in, three draw slide in, four draw no slide, five blow uh, slide in, five draw slide in, six blow slide in, six draw slide in. Great stuff. Now onto G, uh, another easy one because it's just got an F sharp in it. So we're going um, G is three blow, three draw, four draw, five blow, five draw, uh, six blow, six draw with the slide in, and then seven blow for the octave. And now onto G sharp, um, or A flat, depending on your outlook on life. Uh, so we're going three blow with the slide, uh, three draw with the slide, um, five blow, no slide, five blow with the slide, five draw with the slide, um, seven draw for the F, sorry, six draw for the F, 7 blow, no slide, 7 um, blow with the slide in for the octave. So all together that's... Great stuff. Now onto A major, which has got 3 sharps in it. We're going um, 3 draw, 4 draw, 5 blow with the slide, um, five draw, six blow, um, no slide, six draw with the slide, I play the right note, seven um, blow with the slide, and seven draw, no slide. So. Now to B flat, another one of my favourites, great jazz key. Um, we're going three draw with the slide, five blow, five draw, five draw with the slide, um, six draw or six blow with the slide, however you want to play that app. Uh, seven blow, seven draw, seven draw with the slide for the octave. It's quite a nice symmetry to this one. I've always liked uh, B flat for soloing, particularly if you're playing in G minor, uh, which is a relative minor, so we're going. And last but not least, we're on to B, which has got five sharps on it, uh, in it, I beg your pardon. So we're starting on that four draw, five blow with the slide, five draw with the slide. Um, six blow, six blow, uh, six draw with the slide for the F sharp, um, seven blow with the slide, seven draw with the slide, and then eight um, draw for the octave. Beg your pardon. All right, let's do that again. There we go, that's going through it chromatically. Now I'm going to go through it um, with the circle of fifths. 
So it's important to practice these scales ascending and descending. Um, I should also mention that much like the chromatic scale I showed you in the last video where I gave you that pattern of 4, 3, 4, 1, once you get the sort of patterns in your head, you can transfer them across all the octaves of the instrument. It's exactly the same rules apply. Um, you just have to really get where your start and finish notes are. Um, so yeah, let's go through it. So now I'm going to go through those scales once again, but this time moving through a circle of fifths. Um, as I said in the first video, it's not my job to teach guys music theory. Uh, there's plenty of stuff out there. And um, people always say the word theory and they sort of shrink up. It's not that difficult. And people tend to use very you know, intimidating words like um, you know, the circle of fifths or the Aeolian scale or the Dorian scale or whatever. They're actually quite simple concepts once you, once you just read into them. Um, and it will take you literally about five minutes. So anyways, we're going to move through the scales, uh, like I said, through the, uh, through the circle of fifths. So we're going to start again on C, um, just because it's the easiest one to do. So we're going uh, one blow, one draw, two blow, two draw, three blow, three draw, four draw, four blow. <laughs> Good stuff. So when we add a sharp to that, we get G, and we're going to substitute um, F natural for F sharp. And this time we're going to start on the, the three, three blow, three draw, um, four draw, five blow, five draw, six blow, six draw with the slide in, seven blow for the octave. And that's going to be G major. <laughs> Great stuff. So again, moving through the circle of fifths, the fifth degree of G major is D, um, and we add another sharp to that. This time we're adding C sharp, so we're going to start on one draw, so we're going to go one draw, two blow, two draw with a slide in for that F sharp, three blow, three draw, four draw, five blow for the C sharp, and five blow with a slide in, sorry, for the C sharp, and then five draw. So it'll sound like this. Great stuff. So now again, the fifth of D is A. We add another sharp. This time we're adding um, uh, G sharp. Um, and we're going to start on three draw, no slide, four draw, no slide, uh, five blow with the slide. Uh, five draw, no slide, um, six blow, six draw with the slide, seven blow with the slide, seven draw for the octave. So it will sound like this. Now again, the fifth degree of A is E, we're adding another sharp. Now we're going to play E major. So this is two blow, two draw with the slide, three blow with the slide, three draw no slide, four draw, um, five blow with the slide, five draw with the slide, and then six blow uh, no slide. <laughs> Stupendous. So um, now we're adding another sharp. Uh, this time it's going to be A sharp and um, fifth degree of E is B. So we're going to play B, which is starting on the uh, four draw, five blow with a slide, five draw with a slide, six blow, no slide, six draw with a slide, seven blow with a slide, uh, seven draw with a slide, and then eight draw, no slide. So we're going. Excellent stuff. Now the fifth degree of B is F sharp. Um, F sharp is the opposite to, to C, so you see it written two different ways, either with a lot of sharps or a lot of flats, um, because every note is sharp in this uh, except for B, which is the easy way to remember it. That's how I always remember it, is that it's, it's the slide in on all the notes except for the four draw. 
Um, so we're starting on two draw, slide in, uh, three blow, slide in, three draw, slide in, four draw, no slide, five blow, uh, slide in, five draw, um, slide in, six blow, slide in, the easy way to play a bit F, and then six draw, uh, slide in for the octave. So you're starting on the two draw, slide in. And then again, now we're moving into our flats, but we're going um, fifth degree of F sharp is um, C sharp, C sharp major, which if you remember is exactly the same as C major, except that we've got the slide in on all the notes. So starting on the one, we're going slide in on everything. One blow, one draw, two blow, two draw, three blow, three draw, four draw, four blow. It's the easy way to play that, so. <laughs> Amazing. So going from there, we're going to four flats, um, which is A flat or G sharp, depending on how, how you like to talk about it. Harmonic players tend to talk in um, sharps rather than flats, but that's a bad habit, which I might talk about in another lesson. So A flat, we're going to go um, three draw blow, sorry, three draw blow. So A flat, we're going to go um, three three blow with the slide in, three draw with the slide in, um, five sl five blow slide out, uh, five blow slide in, five draw slide in, uh, six draw no slide, or if you want to play six blow with the slide, play that F. That's up to you. Um, seven blow no slide, seven blow with the slide for the octave. So it's going to sound like this. Fantastic, so the, um, the fifth of A flat is E flat, um, so we're now moving down to one draw, uh, and this one now going from four flats in it now has three flats, so we've got one draw with a slide in, um, two draw, slide out, or again however you want to play the F, Three blow, uh, no slide. Three blow with the slide. Three draw with the slide. Um, five blow, no slide. Five draw, no slide. Five draw, slide in for the octave. So it sounds like this. Fantastic. And... Um, the fifth of E flat is B flat, and we're moving from three flats to two flats. So we're going, um, this is one of my favorite keys, particularly good for jazz. It's quite symmetrical. If you do the thinking I was uh, talking about in the last lesson, um, particularly if you're playing in G minor, but anyways. Um, so we're going three draw with a slide in, five blow, five draw, five draw with a slide in, six draw, no slide, seven blow, no slide, Seven draw, no slide, and then seven draw with the slide in for the octave. So that sounds like this. Finally, we've almost made it round the complete circle of fifths. So we're going um, the fifth of B flat is F, which comes has one flat. So we've gone from two flats in B flat to one flat in F. Um, and again, depends how you like to start playing F, but I tend to do two draw, no slide. Then we're going to go to three blow, uh, three draw, both with no slide, then three draw with a slide, um, five blow, no slide, five draw, no slide, six draw, no slide, and then how do you like to play the F on the six, either the slide in on the blow or out on the draw. So. <laughs> And then the fifth of F is C. So we've come full circle, we're back at the beginning. C, that classic no slide, and as I explained at the beginning. So that was quite a lot of information for one video. I appreciate that. 
um, I would literally, when I was beginning to play the chromatic harmonica, I would spend months just getting my scales down. It's so important to know your major scales, um, all 12 of them. It just means you can meet any other musician and play along with them, or you can hear any piece of music and play along with it. Um, we can talk about, you know, blue notes and jazz chromatics in another lesson. Um, just having that framework structure of your major scales in mind is so important. And when you do hear people talking about, you know, like we are speaking about earlier, Aeolian scales, uh, Lydian scales, Phrygian scales, those are just variations of the major scale just starting on different notes. You know, incredibly complex words actually describing something that's quite simple. So take your time over it. I appreciate I bombarded you guys there with a lot. Of, with a lot. Um, like I said, pause the video and spend, you know, three or four minutes on each scale, just getting it down and do that every day for a few months just so it's second nature. These are your major scales. It's so important. Um, and the next lesson I'm going to talk about, you know, just a few little um, practice routines you can do around the major scale. Uh, but we'll get to that then. Have fun. Catch you soon.